Hi, it's Joe from Pointer here, and I've got Emma from The Remote Expert. Emma is a consultant and lawyer with over 19 years experience in law, and she's a pro doing all things remote work as well. So Emma, you're gonna give us a bit of an overview for employers and what they should be considering around insurance when they're, they're putting on remote employees, or I suppose even if people they've currently got working for them are going to start working remotely to things that they need to have in place or have an idea about as far as their insurance. So working, uh, having an employee working remotely is only one part of the jigsaw puzzle. Um, there are other parts such as the employment agreement, work from home policies, uh, but also sort of coupled with occupational health and safety is insurance. So you need to make sure that your employee is covered at home. Um, first step is to check with your insurance broker or your insurance provider and let them know that one or more of your employees are working from home and ask if they're covered. If they're not, amend that policy straight away to cover it. Um, and additionally, if someone is working from home, you need to get copies of their home and contents insurance. Um, if they're driving as part of their role from home, also their car insurance. Um, because you need to know if there are any gaps between their coverage. So for example, some people have um, public indemnity insurance as part of their home policy, which may cover them for an accident. Um, but you need to know that to make sure that, that there's going to be coverage um, and that they're not going to have an accident and you be personally liable, which if an accident is in the course of employment could happen. Um, finally, for your insurance company and for your records, get a checklist together um, of their workspace, some photos where they're working, um, all, all that kind of ergonomic stuff and also make sure you've got a really strong communication um, and video conferencing set up to make sure they don't feel isolated, that you know what is happening. Um, if you can see them on video conference, you know they're in their office um, talking to you, you'll, you'll know they're sort of keeping those regular hours as well, which is important for any um, stress claims. Because working from home, you know, it could be they're working all night, not taking breaks, and it's hard for you to regulate that. That's great, thank you.